Note, make sure you are connected to the same network that your DVR will be connecting to. So, you have purchased a QC DVR and now would like to set up remote monitoring. Here are the easy steps for remote monitoring setup via your two-wire modem. Step 1. Plug in the power to the DVR and establish a video connection from the DVR to the display of your choice. Step 2. On your DVR, go to the main menu screen, Advance, and then Network. Select DHCP from the drop-down menu, click Apply. Select Exit, then restart the DVR. Step 3. Go back to the main menu screen, Advance, then Network. There you will find the DVR's IP address and gateway. Write them down, for you will need them in the next step. Step 4. Now with the information you have written down, go to your computer and open up your web browser. On the address bar, type in the gateway address that you had written down from the DVR. Then push enter. This will bring up your two-wire UVerse modem admin screen. Click settings. Click firewall. Then applications pinhole and DMZ. Step 5. Now you will need to find and choose your DVR network device. Now scroll down, click on user defined, and click on add a new user defined application. Step 6. Here you will need to create a name for your application. Select your protocol as TCP. Input your port 80 in the from and to boxes. Type in 864 Zero, 00 for the protocol timeout and 80 again in the host port. Then click add to list. Note, at this time you will need to log in to your two wire modem with your two wire modem password. Step 7. Once confirmation is successful, please repeat for the inputs 100 and 9000 for the ports and click Add to list. Once done, you will need to click on back. Step 8. At this time, you will need to select applications you have created. Then click on add and click on save. Step 9. Now that the router and DVR are connected, we must check to see if the ports are working. Open your internet browser on your computer. Type in the URL canyouseeme.org. You will be checking for ports 80, 100, and 9000. These are important for remote monitoring. Type in 80 in the port number field and click check. Now scroll down and it should state success. I can see with port number and IP address. Step 10. Now we have checked for port 80, repeat the same steps for ports 100 and 9000 that you did for port 80. Step 11. Note, make sure you are connected to the same network that your DVR will be connecting to. You will now need to find the DNS server address on your router. Go to System Preferences. Select Network. In the network settings, select Advanced. Now select the tab entitled DNS. Now it will display your DNS server information. Copy it down. Step 12. Menu. Advance. Network. Enter the DNS server information copied down. Step 13. Note. Make sure you are connected to the same network that your DVR will be connecting to. Go to myqc.com and register for a remote QC account. Please enter your email address. Enter a password of your choice. Please re-enter the password of your choice. 
in the password confirm box. Please enter your first name. Now please enter your last name. Please select a security question of your choice. Now choose the answer for the security question of your choice. Now confirm the verification code in the box below it. Click submit and it will take you to the domain creation page. Please enter a domain name of your choice, then press request domain, and it will let you know if the domain is available. Keep repeating this process until you reach a name that is available. You have now completed registration for your QC remote viewing DDNS site. Now in the My Domains page, it will list all the domains registered under your account, as well as the status. All the information from myqc.com, please save in a separate piece of paper as you will need to input it in your DVR later on. Step 14. On the DVR, go to the network menu and locate the DDNS setup screen and input all the MyQC DDNS account information such as the username, password, and domain name. Click apply and exit the screen. Step 15. Now please go to the internet browser and type in qc.com backslash support. In the search field type QS multi-client for Mac. Now select search. In the search results, click on the result entitled QS multi-client program for Mac. Click on the hyperlink that says multi-client, click here to download. Step 16. In your downloads folder, you will find the multi-client.app.zip file, unzip it, and you will get the multi-client application. Double click it open to open the application. At the bottom right corner of the screen under device list, click the plus button. Under the name type in the name for your DVR, under the address, type in the IP address or domain name of your DVR. Under port, type 9000. Under user, type admin. Under password, leave it blank. Click OK. Congratulations, you have finished remote viewing setup for your QC QS series DVR. If you received any trouble or errors during the course of this video, please go to your web browser and type in qc.com backslash support, select the ask a question tab, then choose how you wish to communicate and a QC representative would be happy to assist you. Thank you for watching.